Yo, what is going on YouTube, man? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in with me here today. Today, we're learning a little bit about the Osmonds. We have one bad apple right here. So we're going to be diving in, checking this one out. The Osmonds, uh, I've been told on the channel before that these guys, um, similar to what was happening with the Jacksons, because I put a Jackson video on my channel, um, that just like Michael was the young one that really Grew, he grabbed attention. He demanded attention with how groovy and how great his singing was. I was told that the youngest of this group was just very similar, uh, was able to really captivate an audience and pull in an ear. Um, and people just kind of listened in and said, man, that is something special going on. So we're going to be checking it out right here with One Bad Apple. My first time ever hearing anything from the Osmond. So let's dive in, see what's going on here. It looks like we've got a five brother group. I'm assuming they're all brothers, but we'll learn a little bit bit about them after this reaction so let's dive in man first time hearing them ever in my life one bad apple here we go That might be him, that might be the younger one, but this bass is going crazy. Get it. One bad apple don't spoil the whole bunch, girl. Don't spoil the whole bunch, girl. Oh, I don't care what they say. I don't care what you heard now. I like the lyrics. Myself that never hurt you. A little boy singing. Hey. Man, got it. Yeah, that boy is singing. Ooh, man, he's he's hitting the top of his register, man. You can hear that. Oh, he's putting out there, man. Osmond's right here. One bad apple. Don't spoil the whole bunch, girl. I know you've been through some things. I know some people hurt you. But, girl, give me a chance. That's what he's saying. Give me a chance. Let me show you, man. You got me messed up in my head. I'm not afraid to tell the world how much I'm going crazy for you. I'm not like... What you've been through, girl. Just give me one more chance. Give me one chance is what he's saying, man. The Osmonds really throwing it down. That was funky. That was groovy. Is this like the boy band as we of the of this era that we consider like when I was growing up, you know, you had the instincts, the backstreet boys where guys couldn't like them. Right? You couldn't, you couldn't say that you liked them. It was a girl thing. But later on. You're now grown and you're like, hey, man, those boy bands were throwing down some good music, actually. They got some some catchy tunes. Um, but growing up, I couldn't admit that I liked the boy bands because I, I really didn't at the time. Like, I didn't tune into the boy bands. But later on, I could say, take a listen back and say, dude, actually, they were kind of had some good songs. You know, I can look back and say that now. 
I'm wondering if that was the case here or if everybody loved them. Guys and girls loved the Osmonds. I don't know. I don't know how it worked. I just knew when I was growing up, guys couldn't, you know, not that they couldn't. It just, yeah, it wasn't the cool thing to do. Uh, but also, you just didn't tune in at the time. You guys didn't tune into the boy groups, right? They were really designed for the girl audience. So don't know if that's what this was like. So I'm curious because I wasn't of the times, right? I wasn't of the times here. So I'd like to know that if you guys could put me in on that, man, I'd appreciate that. The Osmonds, I was vibing it with it right here in 2024, guys. Guilty as charged. This thing was feeling good, man. This thing was moving. All right, it was moving, man. Let's learn a little bit about it. All right, right here, we're rocking with one bad apple, man. We got this straight from the Osmonds, 1970. Uh, the songwriter on this is George Jackson. George Jackson was an American blues rhythm and blues rock and soul uh, rock songwriter and singer. His prominence was as a prolific and skilled songwriter. He wrote and co-wrote many hit songs for other musicians, including Down Home Blues, One Bad Apple, Old Time Rock and Roll, and more. Okay, I was trying to see if he had any relation to the Jacksons. He didn't mention it on that small one right there, man. One Bad Apple is a song by the Osmonds released in 1970. It debuted on the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, it hit the top of the chart on February 1971 and stayed there for five weeks, man. There we go, rock and roll. And it also, hit, uh, it also charted on the R&B chart as well. Uh, the song was written by George Jackson, who originally had the Jackson 5 in mind when he wrote it, which you can kind of hear. You can kind of hear hear very similar sounds right when i hear this i could easily think that this sounds like it could vibe that way uh but you can hear the different tones obviously in these gentlemen which is just equally sounding great in my opinion according to donny osmond michael jackson later told him that the jackson 5 almost recorded the song first but chose to record abc instead rick hall recorded and produced the song um at it at his fame studios in muscle shoals to determine who would sing lead he lined up all the brothers including jimmy and had each one sing the opening line choosing merrill and donnie ultimately songs led primarily by merrill would be released as being by the osmonds while those by donnie would be released under donnie's name with the brother still accompanying him uh, i guess on the songs curb then brought it to terry manning into memphis so i guess donnie was really a big selling point just like michael might have been a selling point for the jacksons is at least what it sounded like here right if meryl's leading a song well it's from the osmonds if donnie's leading a song well it's from donnie it's marketing strategies right they know that hey donnie Man, Donnie's going to sell way more records if we can put his name all over this thing. So that's what it's sounding like to me. Don't know. Not familiar with the group. Uh, just just reading it there, man. So thank you guys for putting me on to this one, man. I enjoyed rocking right here with the Osmonds. One bad apple. Good lyric content. Good production by the boys right here. Great bass line, by the way. Uh, Donnie was really hitting them things as a young. And Meryl did a great job as well. Meryl did a great job singing on this as well. Uh, they they really performed and sold this thing, man. So I enjoyed it, man. Thank you guys for rocking with me here today. Sure hope you enjoyed the reaction. Sure hope you enjoyed rocking with me, man. If y'all enjoy the content I produce on a daily basis, please consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon for as little as three bucks. It's a great way to give back and support me if you're enjoying the content I produce. Don't forget, like, subscribe, check out the descriptions. With that being said, I'm gone, guys. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. All right, peace.